Hey YouTube, how's it going? Lawler here as always, ready to discuss new and updated roster changes from stuff we've been seeing around the screen. There's been some cool off-season tournaments and everything that have given us some insight, but we also have some new teasers about where things may be headed. As always, if you guys are trying to stay up to date on all things roster related, easiest way to do so is by checking out my document. It is in the description down below. There's a link to this. It has been updated to the best of our ability. So with that said, and before we get into the actual news for today, we have to talk about today's sponsor, which is the Apex. Yes, I'm sponsoring my own video. If you guys don't know, the Apex is a $10,000 LAN event put on by myself and Lethmir and qualifiers begin this Friday. If you guys want a chance to play with your favorite content creators and pros, we recently just announced Magic Bear as one of the players. Hoxer is going to be there. Mercy is going to be there. Other people we haven't talked about are going to be there, but you should be very excited. But if you want a chance to come to a LAN event with us, the way to do it is by checking out the Start GG page in the description. The way that it is going to work is on Friday of this week, Saturday and Sunday, you will get a training pack code in game at a certain time that time as of right now is 3 p.m eastern what will end up happening is lethemir and i will be on broadcast streaming these as well we will release a training pack to the public in our discord there's links for the discord literally all over this page join the discord we will put out a training pack and your job within 24 hours is to complete that training pack as fast as possible you can fail you can make mistakes my recommendation a little bit of a cheat sheet is to look at the training pack and go through all 30 shots and be like, okay, this is how this shot works. This is how this shot works. I feel comfortable doing this. Then try to optimize those shots. Try to find a better strategy on how to do that shot better or quicker or faster. There's usually multiple ways to solve the shot. And then when you have your cheat sheet and your notes and you're like, all right, I know I want to do all these shots. I want to do them as quickly as possible. Time to begin the speed run. Time to do this as fast as possible. And you go, ready, set, go. And then you do that. And then when you're done and you're comfortable with your speed run, you submit it to us. Now, the nice thing is, is there is going to be three of these. There's one on Friday for 24 hours, Saturday for 24 hours, and Sunday for 24 hours. And your goal is to have the best average placement in the leaderboard across all three. So if you get second, if you get third, if you get first, very likely that you're going to do it that is going down this friday more details if you guys would like in the description down below but with that said let's jump into the news for the day first things first we have one that has been discussed heavily and it has to do with arsenal who has officially retired from the rlcs competitive scene he will no longer be playing competitive rocket league he will have an update video going on but if you guys don't know arsenal uh, a player who has been around for a very long time, has a very historic career, and has done, in, in my opinion, quite a bit for the space. I really like Arsenal. I think he's been obviously doing a tough job of balancing being a professional as well as doing the content side and trying to provide for his family. Um, obviously, a lot of the weight on his shoulders. He's talked a lot about this on his own personal channels. Highly recommend you go check it out. Uh, but when Arsenal started making content, he was like, over a night success. I'm excited to watch Arsenal still be a high-level player competing in SSL lobbies and at the professional level. But focusing more on the content side he no longer has the pressure of you have to play this game as a job you have to be the best now he can say hey naturally just by playing you're really really good you're still going to be in pro lobbies that you can clickbait but what is your content brain going to be for that i think i think that's what i'm excited for i'm a big fan of arsenal i think he's a good kid and i'm excited to see what his next chapter looks like uh, next we do have some roster conversations coming from achilles as always checking out those scrim things um as of right now, there's some potential ones for the future. These aren't locked in, but they are conversations that are starting to happen. Uh, Lion Blaze, Percy, and Zanil, who were former Cloud9, looking to stick together. I don't think they're finding other opportunities. I did hear Zanil was getting some other tryouts elsewhere, but if that doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But we'll have to wait and see on that one. Uh, we've been wondering what Hoxer is going to do, and it looks like potentially teaming up with Evo and maybe Chicago. Who knows what availability is going to be? As Nolly and Kofor Duo are looking at Wavy in Chicago with Wavy currently being the favorite, I will say part of the conversation as well is dependent on that deleted squad where it is Andy and Gyro with Roldis as coach. If Wavy wants to go there, I'm sure he has the spot, but I'm sure Wavy is trying to look and see what his other options are. I wouldn't be surprised if Wavy also tries out with Calm and Talk, who have been playing together as well. So 
again moving spots everybody trying out everywhere it seems like things this off season are a lot better in north america where people aren't just like i'm sticking with my buddy and that's what they go with it seems like a lot of these young players are not only getting more opportunities but they're also trying out literally everywhere um i know as you guys have seen nas really do this in the most professional manner nas has basically kept his option to open the entire off season even though he was playing competitively for the super role team we knew like, hey man, try out at every other location. I will not blame you where you want to go. But he tried in North America on multiple rosters. He tried in EU multiple rosters, even while he was competing in flip and spin with us, which is the way that needs to be done. It's the professional smart way to go. But my betting odds for Nasser is he's going with Oski and Itachi. And I, I think that team's going to be super good. So if that ends up being the case, awesome. If not, you know, I'm curious to see where he ends up. Uh, outside of that as well, we do have some conversations confirmed, which is going to be with Mike Boy, who is currently playing with the Netherlands team for FIFA E. Uh, they have confirmed the fast forward roster moving next season with Compact and EJBY. I always say his name wrong, so I'm just going to say the letters. Uh, outside of that, last one for y'all today is Gen G. We've discussed this at length. Uh, from everything I've heard, I can tell you on my side, Gen G most likely wants these three. Uh, Gen G is always going to take in my opinion, the efforts of can we make content? Do we have a fan base that is supportive? Are we going to be able to leverage the likeness and the branding of a person? And Reddles gives them their best option because let's be perfectly clear. None of these guys make content. None of these guys make content. So realistically, this to me financially makes the most sense for Genji, which is usually what they lean into. But there is a possibility that they maybe ask too much and they can still be competitive with one of these for a lesser price that's kind of what i think genji is probably balancing right now is while they're like hey potential for all these there has got to be a balance between what can we get our monies back worth with content but a balance of results as well and if you're telling me hey these teams are going to end somewhere in the same spot somewhere in the top five to eight very likely maybe one plays up setting its top four which one do i want to go with and is it worth it spending a little bit more for the content side or do we want to save money and go the competitive side and try to build that up and put more money that we've saved into the content side? We'll have to wait and see. So that's what we've got. There is a potential of one of those. My opinion, if Genji is in the business of trying to make content and do stuff, they're leaning towards the RMC guys, which is what I have heard. Whether that'll happen or not, though, we'll have to wait and see. So those are the roster things that are currently going on in the current state of things. I will say outside of that, though, if you guys go check out Liquipedia, there was a tournament that went down this weekend, uh, this past weekend called Club Dubs with Rizzo and James Bot, where people signed up for clubs that were content creators, Tenacity, Fear, Jamaican Coconut, and Chief Beef, and they competed in a bracket to find out who would be the official representation for those creators. And then we got to those final four teams. Those four teams for Chief Beef were Panda, Toasty, and Wonder Mike. For Fear, it was Calm, Five Up, and Talk. We've heard a lot of conversations between Calm and Talk being a duo trying to find their third. Uh, we also like I just mentioned, talked about the deleted XD squad or the deleted gaming squad with these four. Whether Wavy is going to be solidified there or not, we don't know. And then for Club Tenacity, we had RMC. And results were actually pretty exciting. We're going to be watching these live on my stream throughout the week. So if you want to come join us, come hang out with us. Uh, but a lot of game fives, a reverse sweep in the grand finals as well from, from Calm and the boys. Um, I personally want to watch these the most to see one, what is happening with this team and what the impact is are people falling a little bit behind? Is potential being wasted? You can determine who I'm talking about in the comments. Let me know who you think. Um, I also want to know what this team looks like, this team specifically. Uh, very interested to see on 5-Up's performance, especially if Common Talk are kind of that duo that's been rumored about. So very interested. So there is some off-season tournaments happening. And as a reminder, if you guys go to the main page on Liquipedia, you can see all the matches going down. Uh, don't let this fool you. It says three weeks and three days. The reality is it's on Friday. Open qualifiers, which they have, if you go to, show you, hey, it's here. And you're trying to compete to go to the main event, which is a LAN. So uh, it's going to be pretty exciting. I'm I'm happy to see that Liquipedia has already given training packs and leaderboards and all that kind of stuff, which we'll try to do our best to update. But if you guys have more questions or concerns or would like to know about those qualifiers for the Apex, uh, I will be pushing that like crazy throughout this weekend. I will try to update you guys as much as possible in the comments. Or stop at the stream. Uh, links to everything in the socials down below. And while you're down there, if you enjoy the content, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, helps me out immensely. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace.